What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy the Bass Chico, smooth as ice, twice a night, and I'm back with another video. Right now, I'm about to react to why black people are apologetic about their existence by Julius Malema. Now, he's been doing a lot of press run lately, you know, going to the voting polls, doing a lot of interviews. So we're gonna see recent clips and old clips, but y'all been liking these, y'all want me to keep reacting, so smash that like button, bruh. If you never liked the video, now's the time. Let's get it. You want to see that black people are apologetic about their existence? Just go and look at a black person, how that person walks. They either walk with their shoulders down. This should be interesting. Julius Malema has been an ardent advocate of expropriation of land in South Africa, an issue he's addressed on numerous occasions. Even though South Africa successfully overcame the apartheid regime, black South Africans have still not fully realized the benefits of their struggle. Malema is regarded by his followers as a leading advocate for this cause, pledging to persist until the dream of land reform is realized. He consistently emphasizes that black South Africans still live under conditions reminiscent of colonial rule, mm. despite gaining independence. That's true. Our struggle number one is the land, because land is the restoration of dignity of African people. Talk you give them. Africans land, you know you resolved their dignity. When you don't have land, you have no dignity. That's why our mothers and fathers were called garden boys and kitchen girls. Girls and boys are not supposed to have property. That's why when you don't have property, you are a boy, you are a girl. That thing, kitchen girl, garden boy, was to tell you, you don't have property. Therefore, you have no opinion. That's tough. As long as we have not given you land, when you leave this school, with all the qualifications you have, if you don't have land, you are a nobody. During apartheid, white people once proposed that you want black people to vote. We said yes, but yes will allow them. But only those who have property. Damn, what? Property. I didn't know about that. That's how it was at first in, in South Africa, bro. When they first allowed black people to vote, you had to own property, bro. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Property is not this big houses, double stories. And once you have land, even how you walk changes. <laughs> that you boy land owner. Umlas in the informal settlement and look at a man who owns a shack mm. a shack without windows when he comes back from a wedding drunk he enters that yard of his and he stands in the middle of the yard drunk and this is my place <laughs> he remembers in his drunken state mm. or i am a person you can undermine me and look at me and think I'm a drunkard. At least I've got where I stay. That's what it. land does. Talk to them. That's what land does. And when you fight for land, you must know you are fighting to restore the dignity of black people. You want to see that black people are apologetic about their existence. Mm. Just go and look at a black person, how that person walks. They either walk with their shoulders down and their hands at the back. That's a sign of a weakness. You walk like that because you know I've got nothing. So you are apologetic for I being... I lie, that body language do tell... Like, it does tell a lot, bro. Body language, bro. ...you and look at how a white man walks. Shoulders up and straight. And he walks like he's a soldier. If you're on the other side of the road, you'll even feel like you can hear the footsteps. There's nothing, if you go to that man, he may not even have metric. But the confidence level of a metricless white person, mm. it will irritate you. <laughs> because as you go further in the discussion, you realize that this one is using he lying, his skin, he can't think. But what gives him this confidence is the ownership of the land they hate the generational wealth bro we gotta we gotta start 
focusing on generational wealth, especially like even back home, my country in Zambia, bro. Whenever like a family passes on and they leave somebody something, whether it's a house, whether it's a car, all you hear is "Mama, she left you." Da, 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 da. This, this, bro. That's the whole point. We're supposed to work hard and put our kids in better positions. The EFF for demanding the land because they know that once you give Africans the land, but what gives them this confidence? is the ownership of the land they hate the eff for demanding the land because they know that once you give africans the land mm. they are equal with us on the same table they say the eff is dangerous the eff is disruptive all of that nah -ah. they are fighting the eff because eff is fighting for equality and they don't want equality they can't sit with monkeys on the table. That's why they hate the EFF. Do you agree or disagree with his sentiments? Please wow. share your comments in the comments section below. Hey, Malema don't. That man don't leave none now. God damn. God 